In this video, we are going to explore the question, what is a normal value for blood glucose in healthy humans? For us, as families living with type 1 diabetes, it is important to know what a normal, non-diabetic blood glucose level is. When we were at our children's hospital, when our son was first diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and the diabetes educator was explaining T1D blood sugar targets, my husband asked, wait, what is the blood glucose of someone who doesn't have diabetes? I still vividly remember him asking that. What a simple yet vital thing for us to know. How can we help our son maintain health if we don't know the steady state level of blood glucose that a healthy human body naturally maintains. I'm Beth McNally, a clinical nutritionist and a mother of a son diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Let's take a look at normal blood glucose levels in healthy humans. I'm curious whether you were told by your diabetes care provider what a normal human blood glucose level is. When we discuss normal blood glucose levels, we tend to talk about it in the fasted state, during the times when we are not eating. The human body attempts to maintain homeostasis in blood glucose levels 4 to 6 millimoles, or about 72 to 108 milligrams per deciliter. In a non-diabetic person, the body will naturally maintain blood glucose levels in this tight and narrow range in order to maintain health. The body must maintain the stability of its internal environment to survive and function properly, and this includes regulation of blood glucose. As blood is being delivered round the body at all times, from the top of your head to the tip of your toes, it is vital for that blood to be healthy and not contain excess amounts of glucose. Healthy blood is essential for cells and organs to work properly, and chronically high glucose levels lead to diabetic complications. A healthy body knows this, so it regulates glucose constantly through each minute of the day. The highest concentration of glucose located in our body is found in the bloodstream. Yet interestingly, there is estimated to be only 4 grams of glucose, or 1 teaspoon, in the bloodstream of an adult male weighing 155 pounds. There is not a lot of glucose in the bloodstream at any one point in time in a healthy human. Now you might think it would be fairly easy to know the value of normal blood glucose, but medical leaders, organizations, and researchers give slightly different numbers for normal fasting glucose in healthy humans. Some organizations provide us with the highest possible number for fasting glucose to be considered normal. You can see in this chart that organizations such as the CDC in the US the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence in the United Kingdom, and the Mayo Clinic tell us that all fasting blood glucose values below 100 milligrams per deciliter, or 5.5 to 5.6 millimoles per liter, are normal. Other organizations provide a range of values for normal fasting blood glucose. The World Health Organization declares that the expected values for normal fasting blood glucose concentration are between 70 milligrams per deciliter, 3.9 millimoles per liter, and 100 milligrams per deciliter, 5.6 millimoles per liter. While Diabetes UK and Diabetes Singapore share that healthy individuals have normal blood sugar levels between 4.0 to 5.4 millimoles per liter, 72 to 99 milligrams per deciliter when fasting. Endocrinology researchers and physicians from the UCL Institute of Child Health in the United Kingdom indicate fasting blood glucose normal values for infants, children, and adults are between 3.5 to 5.5 millimoles per liter, which is equivalent to 63 to 99 milligrams per deciliter. And Dr. Richard Bernstein tells his patients that a normal blood sugar to shoot for is 83 milligrams per deciliter, which is 4.6 millimoles per liter, and that normal blood sugars in non-diabetic children may be lower. These reported blood glucose values give us a good idea of where the body likes to be in a balanced fasted state. We can also use results from hemoglobin A1c tests as a guide for normal blood sugars. These tests measure average blood glucose over a two to three month period. In a study published in 2002 in the Diabetes Care Journal, an analysis of almost 8,000 American young people aged 5 to 25 years who had not been treated for diabetes 
found that the mean A1C of these children and adolescents was 4.99%. The A1C range among this group of young people was between 4.47% and 5.52%. As parents of children living with type 1 diabetes, when we know the normal value of blood glucose in healthy humans, we can set a target for our child's blood glucose that aims to give us peace of mind for their future. And yet we are faced with the challenge of managing diabetes while trying to stay between the lines, avoiding the potential for a medical emergency from low blood sugars on one end of the spectrum, and avoiding the awful possibility of diabetic complications from high blood sugars on the other end. It can feel like walking a tightrope. We can't just decide to aim for normal blood sugars in type 1 diabetes. We first need to understand how to safely achieve that. The way to safely strive for normal blood glucose is to ensure your child's treatment plan has been designed for safety, so you can keep blood glucose as normal as possible without serious high or low blood sugars and more closely aligned with where the body naturally wants blood glucose to be for optimal health. And back to my earlier question that I'm curious about, were you told by your diabetes care provider what normal blood glucose levels are? And what blood glucose targets were you given? Drop your answers in the comments below.